If you like color sleeve control, I'm gonna show you guys five ways to attack from color sleeve, okay? I'm gonna show you guys some sweeps and some submissions. So if you like color sleeve and if you have a hard time from a color sleeve control, this video is for you, okay? And if you don't know me, my name is Mark Chinook, Marcel Garcia, Black Belt, Big Us, okay? So let's jump into it. Big shout out to my new sponsor, Hyperfly. If you guys like to get 10% discount on your purchase on a, on a website, I'm gonna put the link around the description of this video. So thank you so much. You can use Tinoco Fly 24 to get a discount. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave around the description of this video. So thank you so much. All right. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna start on the on a, on a, on a knees. Okay. So we're gonna start on the knees. So just so you guys understand, collar, sleeve right here. Never stay flat. Okay. So gonna be right here. Now our sideways. And then I'm gonna start thread the purse with this foot, okay? Because he has free hands. So he also gonna hold my shin, he's gonna hold my pants anywhere. I'm gonna circle my foot inside and use my foot like a monkey foot around his biceps, okay? And I'm gonna glue up, uh, glue on his ribs and he might go up. I'm gonna control right here, okay? If he's on his knees, the first attack is gonna be a triangle setup okay so we're gonna just go into the triangle so for here i could go from the collar sleeve from close guard sleeve collar right now i'm gonna put foot on the hip hip escape one foot on the hip one foot i'm gonna always go here he's always block so now the first attack is gonna go inside block the the the, the biceps now i'm gonna extend mat i'm gonna extend press the gas and extend the arm so now I'm stay right there, okay? So now the foot that's on the bicep is gonna slide over, chop and cross the arm. So now my partner stays on the knees. Immediately I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop, stay heavy. I can lock my feet right here. If you don't have a, if you didn't lock it first, I'm gonna lock, control the shin, and then you have a very nice and tight triangle from the collar sleeve right there, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go sideways, Foot in the hip, foot in, uh, go up, go foot in the bicep, push, and if you suck the foot again, get used to do this. Uh, the far hands are always gonna be your, the, 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 your enemy right here. Collar, keep extending. Now I'm gonna pull him, extend my foot. Now slip it over, cross, and now here I am. If you can't lock right away, great. If you're not, just let go of the sleeve, secure the shin, and here I am with the choke. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, collar sleeve. I'm gonna go same setup, go here, push it down, tight setup here. So get used to the management. Matt circle the hands, I circle there. So now for the second one, we're gonna go to the omoplata attack. This elbow might be in tight, okay? I need to get this arm exposed. How? I pull, I extend, pull that way. Now from here, he knows that I'm gonna go for the triangle. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna turn his hand outward, like boom. Now he knows that there's an umbo right here, he turns the elbow, that's it. Now from here, I wanna turn my leg over, lock, okay? So as you can see, see I'm gonna cross line, match the other way. I need to get close to him. Immediately from here, what Matt does, he goes, into the, the, he step over with his right, right foot over to stop the omoplata sit up. If he step over, I won't be able to sit up. Fine, so use the omoplata, okay, to sweep, okay? But I'm not gonna show the, the sweep right now. The sweep's part of the variation. So from here, I came from here. So now I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna switch from the collar to the wrist, to the belt. Now I'm gonna start getting myself. I need to unlock my figure four to push Matt sideways. Now I'm very tight on Matt right here. Keep the hands in the pocket. From here, grab the collar, move my leg, change. Now I really need Matt flat. How? I'm gonna shove my hip away. Now I flat Matt up. Keep my leg heavy. Now bend. Now to finish the omoplata, don't sit up that way. Don't go like this because it elevates his shoulder. I wanna Control and sit up straight body right there. Just straight line, okay? That works super well. Okay, go back right here. 
omoplata set up. So number one was triangle, number two is gonna be on a omoplata finish. Same hip, collar sleeve, feet on the hip, get to the side, sit up for the hip, his circle again, I'm gonna go, keep doing this, I don't, don't rush. I get hit, now I'm gonna change my hip that way, turn his hand, pull the collar, and push the hands. He gonna turn, so I lock him in right here, okay? Now my foot on the hip goes right there. I lock my figure four. So now if my leg's like this, Matt can literally push up and elevate my hip. So I wanna make sure that I switch here, belt, get, I extend it, the, the leg that's on top. So I extend it, I want that hip, that shoulder on the mat. Come up, grab the collar, scoop away from him, lock. This knee has to be heavy. Now let go, so you wanna let go, I lean on top of his hand so now he won't be able to turn. So now bring my foot out, now it sit up in a straight line until I hit that, okay? So now let's go into the sweep, okay? So now I'm gonna show you another, sorry, another submission. So I'm gonna show you th the third, number three is gonna be submission. So from here, I'm gonna go there, collar sleeve control, he circle the hands there, I always push, get used to that. So now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna bring my hip under that way, because from this angle, leads into a, uh, a triangle, you feel bring my hip, hip leads into the omoplata, right? Such a good connection. And the third one's gonna be the arm bar. So from here, now I'm gonna bring the hip under. Now the arm is right here, I extend the, the arm. Now I pass this leg over. Now I have the arm bar set up, okay? So let's move this way, Matt, a little bit. I have here, he circle the hands, push, push. Now I'm gonna bring my hip under. Extend the arm, now pass this leg over and hook. Now from here, I just control his face until I get to the arm bar. So look, the collar, uh, uh, the far bicep is so hard for him to circle out and it's hard for him to reach because my foot's controlling. Okay, so from here, circle the hands, boom. Now bring my hip there, pass the leg over, and then arm bar right there, okay? That's three submissions from from the collar sleeve. Now let's go into the sweep, okay? The last two is gonna be a sweep. So for example, goes here, go there. So the first sweep is gonna go from the omoplata. I circle, I connect the omoplata, hit, boom, turn, immediately he count and attack stepping over. Yes! Let go the collar, now you lock the figure four, hug his leg, grab like this. Now use my elbow to Pull his, take the foot off the mat. Now extend my leg, it's gonna be the easiest sweep you can ever do. Come up, and then from here, you get your side control, okay? Bending the omoplata to go for the sweep is one of the best options from there. Because he, I was gonna defend. From here, call the sleep, get to the side, bicep, his circle, boom. Now bring my hip in, pull the collar, and punch the hand. Right there. On platter, immediately he counts, I catch. Open my leg, extend it, boom. Super easy and strong sweep from the on platter. From here, that's wrist lock, and then go to side control, okay? Now the last, the next sweep is gonna be, uh, Marcos, what happened when he stands? You can do exact same setup, triangles, on bars, Omoplatas and sweeps when he stands, okay? So number four is gonna be here. He's gonna go here, and now Matt stand up. Now every time he circle the hands, I'm gonna go that way. Circle this way a little bit. Yes. I'm gonna go here, go there. Yes. If he starts circle that way, use my foot on the hip to square up. He go the other way, I square up. You can go, literally go triangle. You can go here, there. Umbar, you can go here, there, on platter, okay? So, but from here to sweep him from stain, I have to get rid of the base first. So from here, I wanna push the far leg coming from collar sleeve. I'm gonna push the far leg. 
uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna push here and force Matt to post his hand on the mat. So I'm gonna use collar and push at the same time, force him to post. Exactly. Now keep the collar, let go the sleeve, swing to the single. From here, I swing. Now I come up, heavy leg, keep the leg right here, and then just do a foot trip and then sweep mat right there. So collar sleeve control. He decides to stand up here. Yes, he squared up the other way. Boom. Yes. I squared up. Now from here, move the way. From here, I want to kick the leg and punch, push the collar. So from here, boom. Sit up. Quick sit up. Pull the leg up. Now just do a foot trip right there. Okay? So that's a really good setup from the collar sleeve. Okay? And the number four, he gonna be on standing also. He gonna be here, there he go, he stands up, yes. Number four, what you can do from the collar sleeve. So he circle the hands, I play, circle the hands, place, good. So now we're gonna go for the traditional one. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna show you two baits right here. Number one, ankle, tripod, sweep, okay? Super easy right there. Hit, he sits up, boom, he circle hands, manage the hands, and now look, let go the collar, the sleeve, ankle, hook. Now let go the collar, push, and then come up, okay? And then, the last one, which would be more than five, he goes up, same idea. So now, I'm gonna go, I cannot get control. What I'm gonna do here, I wanna go ankle, foot from the biceps, hip, this one comes out. So we're gonna do is just push him sideways, take the leg out, and then pass right there, okay? So let's go again, here. I go for the tripod, I mean for the collar sleeve, go up. So now, same idea, we went for the tripod, but now we're gonna go for the reverse. Hit, now look, I don't wanna take this leg right here, I wanna switch from here. So this foot goes out, this foot push. Now have this four points of connections right here. Collar, hands, ankle, collar, foot on the hip, foot right there. So you just have to change quick. From here, ankle, now drop it for the biceps, push the hip, and now fall down, fall down, come up, and then there it is, okay? So those are six, actually, uh, attacks from call of sleep. So I hope you guys like it. If you like to see more situations from Call of Sleep, please let me know, comment on the video, share the video with your friends, and let me know. So thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to, share, to support the channel, Big Os.